Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Fashion Experiment. It's Dr. Bridget, your professor of all things fashion. And today I'm back with another video on 2023 trends, and it's all about denim. And I've shared several videos on the trends for 2023. Denim is really big for... Um, I mean, denim is big, right? Everybody wears denim. Uh, but moving in to fall, winter, we're going to see many, many more fuller styles. Um, and I've talked about this, the move away or transition really away from the sil slimmer silhouette to a fuller fitting garment. Um, and you will see this represented uh, very much in the denim category. And you're really going to see it because denim is that classic category that everyone wears. So fuller silhouette for bottoms, for tops, outerwear, and denim, everything. All right, so I'm going to get right into it. So first are the analytics from the forecasting company, WGSN, provides all the data for forecasting. And you'll see uh, the graphic on the left here. It just speaks to the garments, the garments. So of course, the jean is where the industry across, you know, high-end luxury brands all the way down to discount retailers that sell denim heavily focus on jean. But the th one thing I want to point out is the increase in separates. So skirts, number one, is a, a big jump. 12% um, of the category, the denim category is focused on skirts. And that is a, 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 a uptick from previous seasons. And then in shirts and tops, an up, uptick in shirts and tops as well from peak previous seasons. And I mean, on the graphic here, you see two points for skirts and four points for um, shirts and tops. The number itself really is not an indication of the, the additional variety that's going to be added. Like two is a small number, four is a small number, but those are, um, it speaks to the whole industry, okay? So the uptick in skirts for women and children, tops for men, women, and children, I mean, across, again, all categories from luxury brands all the way down to discount retailers, you're going to see a wide variety of denim tops and skirts, which we have not previously seen. Okay, so that's uh, the one thing that I want to point out. And then the other thing is just the, I mean, which I've already spoken to, but it's very important for you to understand that we're transitioning away from a slim silhouette. So while you're still going to have access to skinny jeans and a straight leg jean and slimmer fitting garments and denim. The full silhouette, a wide leg and wide pant, baggy fit is what is here and what will prevail and what is eventually going to overtake the slim silhouette, okay? Fashion moves, okay, it moves in a cycle and it never stops. So while you still have access to skinny, slim fit, and again, not from a forecasting perspective or a trending perspective, but from a consumer's perspective, that's what you've been used to, that's what you like, that's what everyone is wearing. So it's, it's, it's a transition, it's not a hard stop, you're just going to slowly phase it out and we're shifting and it's it's movement just understand that it's go, it's just the fuller silhouette is gonna slowly but surely overtake the skinny doesn't mean that a slim silhouette is you know yesterday's news and nobody's doing it yes people are still doing it especially um, when we talk about fashion, the movement of fashion and how it trickles down, the new trend um, traditionally takes effect at the high end of fashion from couture 
and luxury brands. And it slowly is adopted and accepted by the different levels. So at the lowest level, the mass production level, um, it's, it hasn't reached there yet and it hasn't saturated um, at the lowest level yet. That's why you still see a slim silhouette in stores alongside the wider similar silhouette. That is just the nature of fashion and how fashion adoption takes place. All right, so just understand that it's like we're in a, in a space and time in regards to denim and trends and fashion where everything everything goes, okay? Everything is accepted, but there there's still a process in place, okay? Happening and the shift is happening over time. Okay, so let's get into the different styles. All right, this slide just speaks to the classic. So remember, I introduced four themes, the classic kind of that capsule foundation garment staple that's in your closet is where everyone is starting for this fall winter season. And we add and subtract to it based on what our needs are, based on uh, how we seek to connect and interact in our environment, okay? So this is a simple um, garment style. Uh, it speaks to lounge because uh, we still are using uh, combinations of, of different fabrics that provide some stretch and comfort, okay? So you will notice some of the images do depict fuller silhouettes and some of them do not, all right? So just, okay, and that speaks to the transition that we're in. This slide speaks to design detail. And um, I had mentioned in previous videos this season, like uh, as we are seeking to reconnect, a lot of reconnection is speaking to feeling. So with that said, we're communicating that in our garments through texture, how things feel when we touch it, like physically feel it, okay? We're translating internally to the external. So texture and uh, visually stimulating the eye with, with the colors that are used and other design details and embellishments is very heavy for fall, winter. And uh, as I go through all the videos, you're gonna see how the designs are heavily focused on texture. So again, we have our classic capsule wardrobe that everyone is starting with. And you can choose to say, hey, I'm gonna hang around in the classics and you know, maybe punch up my looks with my accessories and my shoes, or you can venture into the other themes and engage through craft, through community, through nature. And that is where you're gonna find the focus on texture, okay? So uh, some texture here is happening with the fabric, the texture in the actual fabric and the stitching and other, it's lots of different um, design details that are being used, again, all to visually stimulate us, visually give us a physical tactile feeling when we touch the fabric to communicate, you know, our inside, what's happening inside. Okay, the crumpled texture and the hypo cloud formations. Again, so many different um, design details uh, in regards to fabrication and techniques that are used uh, to produce visually different um, just looks for the denim fabric. And another thing I want to say about this is for the season, there is a trend for statement denim and printed denim. Again, just giving you options to express yourself. That's what fashion is about. So, I mean, more than previous seasons, you're going to see just lots of different creative um, interpretations for denim garments, dresses, skirts, tops, pants. 
I mean, everything is trending. And understand that these are the trends and it's up to each designer or manufacturer, retailer to decide what speaks to their target market, their co customer and their brain. So it's lots of variety, but all of this is not gonna show up in the storefront because it's, it's really about what's gonna sell. And the, the trends and what's being forecast is just like unlimited options to <clears throat> capture and communicate your feeling and your desire to reconnect. So I hope that makes sense. But that's basically what it was. All of the denim trends speak to what that statement print for the denim is going to be. And it's like, it could be anything that you want it to be because there are so many options. But when you go to seek it out, all of these will not show up in the storefront. But just know that there, there will be several different interpretations of the statement denim jean. So just, you know, search for what is available and get you some options because it's going to be a lot, a lot to choose from. This slide, um, half of it speaks to checkerboard print and then the, I'll just call it the damaged jean. So we've, we've seen distressed jeans and damaged jeans. Um, it's more so damaged than distressed though, okay? Um, with just a roughness to the fabric, lots of shredding and uh, just strings of thread and fabric is what you'll see more of than just distressed on the surface to give it texture to more, more textural um, look. And then the checkerboard, uh, speaks to like the 90s um, inspiration. That's what I'll say about that. But, but there are more than this, more fabric interpretations, print interpretations than this. That's just one of them. So here's another uh, fabric print, denim fabric print, indigo stripes, and then time worn checks. So see what I'm saying about all the different options of print, of printed denim. Like it's just, an abundance. So what I'm looking to see is what will be the major players and the standout um, in the stores, which I won't see or have not seen. Look, um, I haven't seen yet, but once I do an update on the denim, we'll see this, what the standout um, statement denim pieces will be. Prints, patterns, textures, embellishments. And then the liquid viscosity. This one is popular. Um, I've, I'm seeing it now in the spring, summer. Uh, and I think it makes sense because it's a lighter weight fabric. Like the, the weight of it is light. So it can be worn, you know, now. It can be worn anytime. So anyway, this fabric, denim looking fabric, has a sheen to it, um, movement to it a reflective, you know, shimmer to it, like many just, it just gives a lot. The fabric gives a lot, lots of different looks. It, it has flow, it has movement. So it could work for a skirt, it could work for a top. And this particular look, the liquid look is trending now in menswear, women's wear, and it just provides a lot of versatility. And it, and while here is being interpreted as denim, and combined with denim fabric, it can stand alone on its own and can be used for different garment styles. So the flexibility it offers will give it longevity beyond fall, winter, and outside of the denim category. And that's why I think I've already seen it. So this trend, the liquid fabric trend in denim category and other categories is something that I know will um, persist and be seen again. Okay, this slide speaks to craft. So that was one of the areas of reconnecting uh, and it connected to sustainability and connected to the community. And that's what this basically speaks to, eclectic craft, traveler's chest, just creating a unique look for your denim 
Um, you can you you can seek it out. Of course, you don't have to make it yourself, but that's the look of the statement denim, the crafty vintage homemade look. Um, is absolutely prevailing. And this again does not speak to every retailer. So you're not going to find it everywhere, but because it's connected to sustainability and upcycling, like reusing, you know, old fabrics or fabrics that have lost their life. Um, this is this is a particular technique or idea that is going to persist outside again of denim outside of this season, like the whole idea is related to sustainability. So it's it's going to carry over and continue to carry over and show up in other ways. So some more sustainability, uh, the old and worn Dust Bowl tents. There was, were several uh, themes related to just that, that worn look. In, in, a, in a positive way, like it's a look, right? The worn, dingy look. Um, I don't remember who it was, one of the designers um, this spring, like put out a, a overly worn out sneaker shoe, like that was the look. So the idea of, you know, buying something that already looks worn and, you know, used is not a new idea. It's really a trending idea. And I see that. Um, he, here is showing up already as a theme for fall, but it already exists now. Okay, I see, like whoa. so many thoughts in my brain. I'm getting like a little. I don't know. I'm gonna drink some more. Okay, so the worn denim look is not a new look. We just see that it is re-emerging. This worn look can connect to sustainability, but it really doesn't like for the purpose of like um, creating products that can be reused and repurposed. No, it's really speaking to the nature theme and wearing garments that connect to the outdoors. So it has a worn look because it's connecting you to being outdoors and the wear and tear that may happen for the garment from working outdoors also connects to the workwear theme that I talked about for menswear um that was a subset theme and how that's emerging and then lastly it connects to the western theme that is also another subset um that's emerging the western denim shirt the cowboy boot that is re-emerging okay so that's what this speaks to all right, so Eco Ikru, uh, this is a natural, light, 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 creamy brown color. Um, it's very simple and, and clean. And this was a color connected to denim uh, because you're gonna see creams in fall winter, all right? Trending. So, that's why this is here. Um, I'm really not personally like a, a cream white wearer, especially not of denim, but it's a color that's gonna be trendy. And you know, it works for who it works for, right? Just know to be options for the fall winter for that color. All right, so now we're back to fabrics, lightweight fabrics that have flow and movement and drape. So just like we looked at the liquid denim fabric, that's what this slide kind of speaks to. It's just a another denim option instead of wearing or buying garments that are made from the traditional cotton um, fabric for denim or some kind of cotton and, and another fabric blended together. This is specifically a lightweight, like I said, fabric for skirts and for tops that have a nice feel to it, nice hand and a nice drape and a nice flow for garments that are not really going to be jean, jeans, that you're not going to make jeans from. So that's really what, it, what it's for. And again, it provides 
more options and more versatility. And it's almost like, well, not almost like, but for this fall, winter, the denim category is not like focusing heavily on jeans. You know, the, the statement jean is a key item, but for the category of denim, you really see a whole denim collection where you could create, you know, a whole denim wardrobe if you want because of the variety of garment styles that's going to be offered. Skirts, dresses, tops, you know, not just the traditional button up denim shirt, but blouses and just a variety of options. Like I can't say it enough. It's going to be so many uh, varieties of denim garments for fall winter. All right, ah, so this brings me to the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it and be back soon. I will provide key items and denim for the 2023 season. So I'll see you soon, everyone.